Hey, what is up guys? Abhik here, back with another video in this channel, AV Pro Tech. And today you can see a couple of differences on my home screen. Yes, um, this is the latest version of Android available for the OnePlus One. It is the Android 5.1.1, and which is at the nightly stage for the OnePlus One. It isn't available in OTA yet, so I just got too much annoyed and went on and flashed this uh, zip file. That is the Cyanogen Mod 12.1 Bacon latest version, which is which has been updated today. So I'll be showing you that first in my settings, and I'll scroll down. I'll find this bad phone, and here you can see that it's 2015 826. That is today's date, and it's been up here right now. I mean. I did update it in the morning and the version of the Android is Android 5.1.1 it does work pretty fine with mine and it's Android Lollipop alright the same Android Lollipop that really crazes people out a bit but this time it's you know a little bit bug free yes it is it, this ROM is probably better and more stable than what the Cyanogen OS uh, 12 is, definitely. I did feel a lot more differences while using this app, I mean this ROM and that other ROM. It does make a big difference. So it's running on Android 5.1 Lollipop and that does make differences. So and the other things I want to show you is over here. Yes, it does have a couple of uh, the Android 5.1 features that is the quick pull down to whatever your Wi-Fi is and quick pull down to Bluetooth I've not turned it on that's pretty fine and you'll, you'll find a lot of clicky things over here more than what you think so the same brightness bar as it is in the uh, Android 5.0 and you here you have more features like this the animations are pretty cool and while I pull down this you can see that settings bar rolling from somewhere that's a pretty nicely built feature for this OnePlus 5.1.1 uh, and that's again it's a feature alright so in the volume compartment I'll just show you there are three modes and you can set between them which was absent in the previous build of this version but it's now available so you can use it again the camera uh, the camera is pretty good too now I'm in a low light in my room it shall pop up it's the Google camera nothing else too crazy and you can see it does record 4k it doesn't suck it does record 4k you can see that and UHD no DCI again you'll need the Cyanogen camera I'll be putting a link in the description box to download Cyanogen camera the original Cyanogen camera which can record both UHD and DCI so again the front my front camera also can record 720p videos and the uh, all thing all things here are pretty much well segregated like you have 9.7 megapixel for 16 is to 9 ratio you didn't have this neither in the oxygen OS or the Cyanogen OS 11 so I couldn't call that Cyanogen OS 11 it's Cyanogen Mod 11 S so that's that for the camera it does outperform the uh, um, oxygen OS so this is the music and it, this is very much very well tuned music app there are pretty much um, zero lag when you scroll down between it and there are pretty much more there are more settings than you ever think yes there are more settings well I don't know where to get it I don't know where to get those themes but there are ton more settings in the settings I didn't just 
you know, I didn't have time to even look at them. There are a ton more than whatever the CN Engine model, a uh, CN Engine OS 12 provided us. So there are a lot more. Um, pretty much everything is uh, the same to CN Engine OS 12, but a couple of changes like should be in the uh, Android 5.1.1. And wallpapers too. There are a couple more wallpapers here. As you can see down, yeah, there are a couple more wallpapers than which was on the, uh, I think there were just a couple, like these many. I think from here on, from this red colored on, you had all the wallpapers, but there are added wallpapers, like these. That's again, anything addition is cool. So that's that for the wallpapers. And again, uh, you need to install G apps. And again, I'll be providing you the link in the description for the G apps which I installed, which is the stock G apps, which is all available in the Nexus devices. And that's that. Nothing too crazy. So I'll talk about bugs now, which is you know really dragging me crazy. So the first bug is the touchscreen issue. Like a couple of times, you can see this. Holy, oh man. I get so annoyed when I just pull it down, hit it a couple of times, and you're done with almost everything. And I hate that. You know, it shouldn't have happened. And one more is the clock. You can never set your alarm ever again. Forget your alarm, because neither can I set an alarm there with my clock it's not opening this is the thing which happens every time it's like so much annoying to you like you cannot open your clock how so I have this morning routine it's a pretty well designed materials as you can see that it's super cool so I'll put a link in the description for this app too you can download it if you really like my um, whatever the alarm clock so I'm using a custom alarm clock because of that reason there are two bugs which are hilarious to me yes oh man that, that annoys me a lot so you know that's pretty much it about this uh, um, the Android 5.1.1 the latest build of the Cyanogen OS or the Cyanogen Mod 12.1. If you did like this video, please give it a like. And uh, if you put a thumbs down, please tell me why in the comment section below. If I missed some points, please tell me that in the comment section too. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And I'll be putting a ROM link in the description, direct link. As you click it, you'll be downloading it. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the 4K video, which is coming up next. Goodbye.